All right. It's Wednesday. It's a day that we're not going to get together in a Zoom meeting. And so uh, I want to just give you a little boost. Um, uh, hopefully on Wednesday, by now, your 500 word paper is coming together uh, with maybe just a few things. Remember, I need references uh, where you're getting this information. Yes, it is okay to use uh, references from the papers that I've already given you and it's okay to have additional references, okay? Um, but I do need citations, where you got your data from. I want numbers in there. I don't want your paper just to say, I think it's gonna rain more, because uh, I think so. And uh, talk to the weatherman down the street, and he says so too. Now, I need some actual, real um, uh, data that's going to uh, tell me about um, uh, your actual uh, predictions. All right, um, so um, you should be working on that paper. Second thing um, is on the gas laws. And so what I want to do today is go back because the gas laws are all about practice. And the math is not hard. Uh, I showed you a video, it is in the click here first part. So you can go there and actually see uh, a video of me solving some problems, but I'm gonna do a few more today because today on Wednesday, your assignment is to be working on anything you, you're still working on. The climate paper, going back, doing more practice on the gas laws, maybe catching up and watching a few more things on climate change, submitting a couple more assignments in there. I'm giving you lots of time to kind of figure out how you are uh, gonna be submitting things and doing things during this first climate change unit. All right, so gas laws. Let's do a couple of problems. Remember, our basic equations, K, Kelvin temperature is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. Boyle's law. P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. Make sure that's a V. And then we have Charles' law, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, okay? Those are the three equations, and yes, on the quiz, I will give you the equations. So, if I said that in a given problem, um, a balloon starts at um, one atmosphere and volume equal to two liters, okay? Then pressure goes up. It increases to five atmospheres, I want to know what is the new volume, okay? So it's a pressure volume problem, right? Because there's no temperature in there. So we have pressure, okay? Right here is the pressure. We have volume, all right? And so that tells us we use the pressure volume equation. So P1, V1 equals P2, V2. So that initial pressure, one atmosphere. The initial volume, two liters, equals five atmospheres. That's the new pressure. And then I don't know the volume. So I do some multiplication. One times two is two, equals five times V2. And the algebra says I've got to divide by five because I want to cancel those. Whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to the other side. So yeah, we are going to do that as a uh, decimal. So two divided by five is 0 0.4 equals V2. That's how we do that. All right, the second problem that we're going to do is going to involve um, some temperatures and volumes. 
And so I'm gonna um, just change our problem a little bit. We're still gonna use a balloon. And this time the balloon is going to start at um, a volume of one liter, but this time at a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. And um, I raise the temperature, so T2 is going to go up to 20 degrees Celsius. All right, and I want to know what the new volume is how much it changes. Well, when you think about that, I'm gonna change the temperature on the balloon. I've got a balloon and the volume is one liter. And so if I warm it up, think about it. Does the balloon get bigger or smaller if I warm it up? Well, kinetic molecular theory says those atoms are gonna be moving faster and faster and expanding. And so it should get bigger. And some of you may say, oh, well, hey, look at this. Temperature doubles volume, therefore it's got a double. Uh-uh, not happening. Reason, degrees Celsius, right? Remember I told you at the very start, you cannot work in degrees Celsius. We've got to change this to Kelvin. So we're going to say Kelvin is equal to 10 plus 273 over here, and Kelvin equals 20 plus 273 on the second one. So that means it equals to 83 here, and it equals to 93 on the other side, Kelvin, okay? So now you can see with those temperatures, oh, it only increases a little bit. And yeah, so therefore the volume only increases a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. So we're going to start with that initial volume. The initial volume was 1 over 283 for a temperature. And I want to know what the new volume is going to be when the temperature goes up to 293. Cross multiply and divide. So that means I draw a line with an arrow like that. And I'm going to do 1 times 293. Don't do the math yet. Don't write 293. Put an equal sign there. Now do the other line 283 times v2 now you can solve it 1 times 293 is 293 equals 283 times v2 algebra says we got to divide by 283 divide by 283 because what we do to one side we have to do to the other side so i have 293 divided by 283 and it says that our new volume is going to be equal to 1.04, actually 1.035 when you do that, but 1.04 liters. That's our final answer. So there's another one for you to see as an example. And so you should be working back through some of the gas problems, working maybe even a little bit on some of the earlier climate things, uh, working on your climate paper, all those kinds of things. Um, so, uh, see you back next time.